The cast for Night at the Museum Battle of the Smithsonian was coming together incredibly well. I had Ben Stiller, Amy Adams, Owen Wilson, and Hank Azaria, and Jonah Hill, and Bill Hader. We also had Christopher Guest, Steve Coogan, Ricky Gervais. It was crazy, right? But there were three roles that were just impossible to cast. The Cherubs. <laughs> and then it hit me. The Jonas Brothers. When Sean approached us about playing the Cherubs, we were so excited. I mean, they're flying babies. How hard could it be? Well, we didn't realize that, that Sean is so... Intense. Creative. Really creative. All right, here we go. Let me see you fly, boys. Let me see you fly. Flap those wings. Flap them. Nice big wings. Big what? wings. I don't understand why we're doing this. I thought the flying was going to be computer animated. Yeah, you don't understand, which is exactly the problem. A real cherub would understand. But we're not cherubs. Not yet, you're not. What? What is that? supposed to mean. So how about this? Go to your creative corner, think about, and then maybe we can converse like grown men. <laughs> Waiting. Wow. What, he thinks he has the straight hair so he's special? Let's go, you two, archery lessons. Well, you know what, with Sean, people think of him as sort of a light comedy director, you know, it's sort of like, you know, that's, that's his sort of, uh, you know, his stock and trade. It's like, oh, do you want to do a light, fun family comedy? You know, did you see Pink Panther? Did you see uh, Cheaper by the Dozen? Did you see, um, I don't even know any other movies he's done, but, you know, I heard enough once I heard that. I was like, you know, okay, I get it. This is what this guy does. It's going to be a cakewalk. There we go. There we go. Let me see you soar. Playing a chair for me was like unleashing a caged tiger, except the, the cage was a museum and, and the, the tiger was a naked marble baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's going on here? Where are you going? Just gonna get some water. Getting some water? I'm thirsty. Probably. Here's the problem. Okay, Curly Top? The problem is that a cherub doesn't walk. What does a cherub do? Say it with me. It flies. Let me see it. Thank you. Okay. Sean's process is very intense and challenging on the surface. You get below the surface with it, and it's actually kind of shallow. I'm sorry. I can't believe we're still having these conversations, Nick. Pretty, pretty angel music. Pretty, pretty angel Fly. Fly. You know they say like still waters run deep? With Sean, it's like choppy waters are, you know, are extremely shallow and, and there's nothing to them. So who is Joe the Cherub? Joe the Cherub? <sighs> I make comedies. Corner, Joe. I will be your armed guard to the creative corner. No, it's okay. It's like he doesn't get it, you know? Wow, Joe, corner again. You think about what you have done. <laughs> Cherubs, ready! Aim, fire! <laughs> Who told you to shoot these arrows at the director? That's what fire means. Wait, we got another one, guys. You know, Should we go no, again? No, I didn't say reload. I, I didn't did. say, I didn't say reload. I think that push-pull, give-and-take, I think it resulted in possibly, and I think I'm, I'm safe speaking for the, for the brothers as well, the most fulfilling, grueling, yes, but fulfilling, gratifying creative experience of our lives.